Good morning and welcome to morning prayer this morning on Saturday the 14th of November. This morning I'm going to be using the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the Psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 71. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion, but rid me and deliver me in thy righteousness. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my stronghold, whereunto I may always resort. Thou hast promised to help me, for thou art my house of defence and my castle. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the ungodly, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou, O Lord God, art the thing that I long for. Thou art my hope, even from my youth. Through thee have I been holden up ever since I was born. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall always be of thee. I am become, as it were, a monster unto many, but my sure trust is in thee. O oh, let my mouth be filled with thy praise, that I may sing of thy glory and honour all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth me. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take their counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him. Persecute him and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Go not far from me, O God. My God, haste thee to help me. Let them be confounded and perish that are against my soul. Let them be covered with shame and dishonour that seek to do me evil. As for me, I will patiently abide always and will praise thee more and more. My mouth shall daily speak of thy righteousness and salvation, for I know no end thereof. 
I will go forth in the strength of the Lord God and will make mention of thy righteousness only. Thou, O God, hast taught me from my youth up until now. Therefore will I tell of thy wondrous works. Forsake me not, O God, in mine old age, when I am grey-headed, until I have showed thy strength unto this generation and thy power to all them that are yet for to come. Thy righteousness, O God, is very high, and great things are they that thou hast done, O God, who is like unto thee. O what great troubles and adversities hast thou showed me, and yet didst thou turn and refresh me, yea, and broughtest me from the deep of the earth again. Thou hast brought me to great honour, and comforted me on every side. Therefore will I praise thee and thy faithfulness, O God, playing upon an instrument of music. Unto thee will I sing upon the harp, O thou, Holy One of Israel. My lips will be fain when I sing unto thee, and so will my soul, whom thou hast delivered, My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded and brought unto shame that seek to do me evil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading that has been allocated for this morning is Daniel chapter 7, verse 15 to the end. But I'm going to continue now with the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all of the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all of the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father, We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy upon us. 
O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The New Testament reading that is allocated for today is from Revelation chapter 9 from verse 13 to the end. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire and the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men, which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold, and silver, and brass, and stone, and of wood, which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him, without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, 
dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Lord, we beseech thee to keep thy household, the church, in continual godliness, that through thy protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve thee in good works to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you this morning knowing that you hear us when we call upon you. Father, we thank you for the recent discovery and work that has been done on new vaccines and the, the positive results and the possibility that vaccines will begin to be rolled out for 
hospital workers, care workers, and the older generation, and then to all people. Father, we pray that the work on these vaccines will continue and that they will be successful, that it will be possible to create enough vaccine for all of the people who need it. Father, we continue to pray for those who are suffering because of this virus. Those who have the virus, who are sick. Those who are unable to work at the moment because their places of work have been shut down. Those who are isolating because they may have come into contact with somebody who may test positive. Those who feel isolated in their homes because they live alone and families are no longer at the moment able to visit. Father, we pray for the doctors and nurses working in our hospitals, the care workers working in care homes, those who go in and visit and care for the elderly of our town day by day into their homes. Father, we ask that you would keep them safe, enable them to continue their work, Give them the energy and the strength that they need in order to continue to serve those around them. Father, we pray for all of those who are isolated in their own homes at the moment. Those who don't have contact with family and friends. Maybe their families live far away or abroad. Maybe they are not able to use the internet and, and speak to them regularly and, and see them. Father, we pray for them. Father, we pray for all those we know who are sick and unwell. And we ask you would bring them healing. And we pray also for those who have been bereaved. And especially at the moment, the family of Robin Hazel. Ask that you would bring them comfort in their grief and the knowledge that you are there with them. And Father, we also this morning bring ourselves as we face this new day. I ask that you would keep each of us safe. That you would guide us through this day. That we would continue to look to you. Our strength and our salvation. Thank you, Father, that you always hear our prayers. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Have a lovely day and a wonderful weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless. Goodbye.